Whew. Oh, man. Back in the basement of my parents' place. Missed it, love it. Anyways, <laughs> it's been an insane past couple of weeks. My life went from insanely busy to more insanely busy, but it's been all good things. And I had to take care of some paid projects that I, I just, I had to get done. One of those paid projects was for Alpha, which is done. And I thought I was gonna be able to share it with you sooner, but that's just not the case and that's okay. Uh, but I'm hoping you guys will see that soon. And because of that, this video is getting out a little a little bit later than I wanted to, but all is good. The Arnold, that's what this video is about. And I wanna talk about my experience at the Arnold. And I don't even think I've talked about how that opportunity even came about because I wanna share that with you. I think it'd be very interesting to see someone's YouTube channel grow and like how, and kind of how they're trying to grow it. At least that's how what I would wanna see, especially for someone starting off with YouTube. And because I'm still so small, if I were to, to grow and get bigger and bigger, I think that would be very cool to see and, and maybe even help, I don't know. Basically how this opportunity came about. Alpha uh, one of the crew, one of the guys on Alpha found my YouTube channel, brought me up with the owner Tanner, so that put me on the radar with Alpha. Matt Keto found my channel from Brandon Campbell. Thank you, Brandon Campbell. So that put me on the radar with Matt Keto. Well, Matt Keto is sponsored by Alpha. So when they came together and started talking, my name was brought up by the both of them at least to the extent of my knowledge. Like I found all this out the weekend I got there. But when they started talking, Alpha already knew about me, Matt talked about me. And so that kind of just solidified things. They were like, okay, we need to get this guy out here. So that's how I got to the Arnold. And let me tell you, that was the craziest weekend of my life. I've had a lot of crazy weekends, but I think that was by far the craziest. And I did not eat, I did not sleep, I got sick. I was a dead man walking. I worked my fucking ass off. It was all worth it. And it was just crazy. I met so many people. So many people I don't, I can't even keep track of. I'm gonna try my best. Uh, but the coolest part was I met some of you, which I did not expect. That was, that was crazy. But before I really get into that, let me get you to Columbus and set up this story. <laughs> We're here in Columbus, Ohio. We, I just, I landed and um, I went to the wrong Hyatt. I'm staying at the Hyatt right now. There's two Hyatts apparently. And I went to the wrong one because I'm an idiot. I was able to check in. I'm in a room, not my room. Well, maybe, we don't know yet, but I'm waiting for the owner of Alpha to um, figure this shit out. So I'm just chilling in a room that could be mine or it might be someone else's. I tried to pack as light as possible, but sometimes you still gotta bring some gear that's a hassle to, to freaking bring. Let me show you what I've brought. Obviously, the one and only, the gimbal. I gotta name this thing. I should probably name it. You know, I name all of my memory cards after Quentin Tarantino characters, so I should probably give this guy a name. I've got the drone. I've got two drone batteries. I've got the remote. I gotta charge my lavalier setup. I've got my 55 millimeter 1.8 Sony Zeiss lens. Audio recorder. I've got extra propellers. I've got all my memory cards in here. Another external hard drive. That's it. Pretty much. Time to charge all this stuff. So here's pretty much all the gear I have. Which isn't, it's not really that much. Now that I think about it. Those are my bags. And then, and then I have all my clothes. My mom would be so proud of me. Wow. 
So I just repacked all my gear. I'm heading down to the lobby to meet up with the Alpha Squad. And uh, we're gonna get some food and then go to the expo and just make sure everything's gravy. Let's do it. Can't keep a little model hands off me. Both in the club, I'm singing on key. And I wish I never met her at all. It gets better, ordered another round. It's about to go down. Got six model chicks, six bottles of drinks. Uh, yeah, I'd hold it like one more Sorry, hand there. Uh, it's best gamut three cine. Hmm. Dude, this lens is so sick. I, I think I'm gonna have to pick this up. It's like 1400 or something, right? Yeah, it's How pretty sweet, this? man. And it's not heavy. That that's 400 bucks. That's why I picked it up. It was my first lens. And I'm like, I want something compact that won't break the bank, especially when I bought it with that camera. It's a it's a cheapy, but you know what? It does the job. We are at the Alpha booth right now and we're just unpacking clothes. Well, I'm not really, but I'm doing the camera work. They're unpacking clothes right now. It looks good. It looks really good here. Uh, the booth looks super clean. And, uh, yeah, it just looks really good. It's about to get fucking busy. Hello? Hi, your food is ready to be picked up. Oh, perfect. Alright, bye. Bye. Ooh. That looks pretty good. A lot of bacon on there. I don't know how much I can vlog this weekend for my channel. It's a lot. I have to vlog my Rambling Road episode. I have to vlog and post three videos for Matt Keto, and I have to get the video to him within 24 hours, which I've never done before. All of my videos are not edited within 24 hours, and I have to make a video for Alpha. Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh god, I think this thing was like microwaved. So I got to the expo on the first day before the doors opened for the public and it was super quiet and peaceful and people were setting up their booths and getting ready and it was just very, very zen-like, peaceful and quiet. And then they opened the doors and complete chaos. Look like a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, I was like, Dude, that's so funny. We're good know, though. I don't even know if it's good. What? I don't even know if it's good. That looks so disgusting. You, you, you couldn't even really go to the bathroom. The bathroom was, I don't know, maybe 50 feet away. And if you felt just the slightest like urge to go to the bathroom, you go. You go because it's a, it's an hour. I met so many people, so many people. I met Tanner, the owner of Alpha, and it was funny. We went shopping, the whole Alpha crew, and we found this pair of Nike joggers that looked identical to the Alpha joggers, only just way shittier. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, they fixed this. This used to be shittier. That's identical, almost. Ah, uh, so hold on, let's hold it up. Let me, these are ugly. That's like the poverty version. Look at that. Look at that button. Oh, oh my that. god. Who would this feminine fit? ass pocket? Who would this fit? I, look, I mean, one, that's kind of nice. I kind of like the one rather than the two. Yeah, they tried, man. It's all right. <laughs> they tried, man. I met Alec, the creative director for Alpha. Obviously, he and I got along. Uh, I met AJ, I met Philip, I met Brandon, I met Jay, I met Caleb, Justin, Jamie, Mastetics, Garrett and Simon, Matt Keto, aka Goku Flex, obviously. I met Nick Wright, I met Nick fucking Bear. I met Teron Beckham, who was talking me up. 
Let's go. go. And that was, that's just the Alpha Squad. Flexible dieting lifestyle on Instagram. The guy's name is Zach, met him. I was coming to say hi to all you guys and, and Travis too. I and mean, he's fucking left. What are you doing tonight? Me, me and, dude, I, I'm grinding, man. I met Chris Elkins. I've been talking to him back and forth for the past couple of years, so to finally meet him, that was dope. Yeah. And uh, yo, Chris, dude. Nice to meet you, man. What's up, man? How are you, dude? Good. Hey, how's your thumb? It's good, dude. 100% now? Yeah, uh, it's a little weak. Yeah. It's a little weak. I met Danny Gets Fit. I met Randall, the owner of Live Fit. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, this is my boy, Zach. Oh, Bro, check him out, uh, out on YouTube, man. Okay, thank you. Better than Casey Neistat. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> he's. I met. Guzman, Guma. Have you seen this guy's videos? Have you I seen it? Man. Actually, don't watch his videos. Don't watch him. Stay away. No, no, this guy is Zach. Right? He's legit. Check out his videos. He's like better than nice that. What, what's your name? Zach Travis. You just did a video on Travis' show. I, yes. I, I was watching it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. I was from San Antonio, here, so I was watching the video, the food video. Yeah. yeah. Cool, man. It's good to meet you, bro. I'm, sorry yeah, to right. I'm, I'm so going to regret this. I met Max Tuning, even though I didn't get him on film. I met Michael Corey. Fuck, man, who else did I meet? Hmm. Now I know he's standing right there. Yo, I know. Do you want to be on my you YouTube channel? Hair, right? I guess. You guess? I guess, fine. All right, you know what that means, Can I get, right? Like a cinematic, like... <laughs> I gotta introduce you on the channel. Am I like here? No, you're good. Sick as you lie. Give me your name. This is good. Give me your name. Kendall. You're ready, dude. One word to describe yourself. Three, two, one, go. I have no idea. I like food. I don't know. Fuck on me. Look at me. Hey. Fuck on me. Yeah. Look at me. Alright, I got it. I got it. You're good. <laughs> So that was my weekend in a nutshell. It was crazy, felt like death the whole time, but even then it was still fun and it was still very worth it. I'm gonna cut this video now just because I don't wanna make it too long. Expect that alpha video to come out soon. I don't know when. I gotta talk to Tanner and just figure out details and stuff like that. And thank you for 6,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Thank you to Brandon Campbell. Thank you to Travis. Thank you to uh, Matt Keto. Thank you to Alpha. Um, Nick Bayer, just everyone trying to help me out grow this channel. I'm very, very appreciative and it's just been a fun ride and I'm, and I'm enjoying the journey thus far. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rambling Road. I am back and hopefully I will be going nowhere. I will catch you in the next one. Later. Uh, work so fucking much, my greatest fear is I'ma die alone Every diamond in my chain, yeah, that's a milestone I'm loving it, I'm People loving it. calling me, asking me for money, man uh, The only thing I'ma give you motherfuckers is yeah. a dial Did you get that hat for free? Yeah Do we give it to you? Yeah You like it? Yeah Nice
Thank you.